to get it through the post. And I was told that on Monday, I was told that on Tuesday, and now I'm asking for it again. What day is it today, Thursday? Or whatever day I started asking. I don't know. I've been on the phone that long and that many times with that many different people. I haven't got a clue. All I'm saying is nobody has done what they said they were going to do. So now I want to process this. Sort out what you need to say for that policy and then give me a complaint reference number and I'll take it up from there. And everything comes through to me in writing and I want monthly statements for both policies going forward from this date. You have a no contact authorization on my account. You are not authorized to contact me by telephone or email. The only response you're now authorized to, do, to um, do is in writing, unless you're telling me that it's going to take months to pay this, make this payment because it's being done through the post. No, it won't take months at all. Right. Well, let's do it now, please, and let's That's process. not a problem at all. It won't take months at all, so no. Um, so, <clears throat> as I say, what I wanted you to be aware of is that there is a lot of information on there. Now, you said you had it emailed to you. What I'm going to do um, is actually send it I'm to you. Sorry, I haven't post. had it emailed to me at all. I'm oh, right. To you. I've had emailed to me, I understand, a proposal for closing one account, transferring everything into another, and then making a withdrawal. That's not what's happening. So, no, I haven't. So, don't oh, please okay. keep telling me that I've had it when I haven't. Right. So, Today, what I will do I first is. Said, that I'm leaving this open because I'm not happy with what I've been told. Mm -hmm. What I'm going to do for you is I'm actually going to send you a copy of that um, so that um, you can have a look. You've got that physical copy, and I'll send it to your um, postal address. Now, I have a postcode on here of Lima Lima 414 Alpha Alpha. Is that correct? Correct. Right, okay. So, David, I'm actually organizing that now as we speak. Um, for that to go out for this policy, for this SP policy. Would you also like the same pack for um, your P policy? No, because I'm going to be reporting you about the P policy, um, okay. and then we'll deal with that. That's the only reason I'm keeping this open, the okay. um, SP account open, and it's going mm -hmm. to stay open. I'm not touching the P policy. You're doing nothing with the P policy until I've got to the bottom of what's going on here. And if that means I've got to wait till after I've spoken to the financial ombudsman, fair enough, and let him rule on that. But both policies are staying open. And if you try and close the SP policy, because you say there's not enough money in it, I'm going to be saying that the only reason that there's not enough money in it is because Aviva refused to allow me to make a partial payment, um, a partial withdrawal. So Aviva have put me in this position. So let's just process this and let's just get on, get, get it done with. You've got everything you need. I'm not going over it again. So please don't tell me you need a conversation. If you want to have a conversation with me, have a conversation about what I need to do to get £2,300 out of my SP policy <coughs> and then give me a complaint reference and then tell me what you've detailed on the complaint reference and then I'm going to go. Okay. As I say, that is what that is what the essence of our conversation will be. What it is you need to do to get this payment. Um, and uh, the only reason I offered you a retirement option pack for your P plan was so that you did have an upstate value and details on it and the options available. Yeah, so, but value, that's and fine if you don't want one. That's fine. Today, it's gone down by about three and a half quid. One of my mm. policies, so the other one will come down. I would have thought by a similar amount. I'm not really interested. All I want to do is process the payment for £2,300, take whatever tax you're going to take out of it, send me a P60 and I'll get my, the, my tax refund at the end of the financial year and then I'm, um, um, you can tell me what the complaint reference is and tell me what, the, what you've recorded on the complaint. Okay, not Right, so let's so, um, please. So, as I said to you, you've got that retirement option pack. I'm, or I've sent it to you, it's on its way, please consider reading it. It gives you all of the information across the whole of the market, not just necessarily within Aviva. It also includes some additional details I'd like you to be aware of. Now, that includes things like our guide to shopping around, but lets you know if you did want to do so, if you felt you felt the need to do so, 
you can look at other providers and see whether or not they actually provide you with 